Hello friends, this video on heat part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So how do we distinguish the different scales of temperature or how do we, I mean, what is the common basis on which we uh, have divided these different scales of temperature. So there are two fixed reference points for measuring temperature and those two points are ice point and steam point. So what is ice point? So ice point is nothing but the freezing point of water. It is that temperature at which water starts to freeze. That is water, what happens when water freezes? Water freezes to form ice. And what happens when water boils? It boils to form water vapor. Right? So this is ice. And this is water vapor. And this is water. Right? So ice point is nothing but the freezing point of water. So it is the point at which water gets converted into ice. And when we talk about steam point, it is the boiling point of pure water. That is, it is that temperature at which water starts getting converted into water vapor. Now in all the three scales, we have determined the ice point and the steam point. So every scale, for example, in Celsius scale, we will have a fixed ice point and a fixed steam point. Similarly, in the Fahrenheit scale, we will have a fixed ice point and a fixed steam point. And that is how we will be able to find out a relation between the various scales of temperature. Like when we talk about meters, kilometers for distance. So there is a relationship that exists between meter and kilometer also. Only then we will be able to understand how much is 10 kilometers. So how did we say that 10 kilometer is 10,000 meters? Because we know that 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. So that relation had to be established between the different scales of temperature also. So for that we take these two reference points that is ice point and steam point. So let us look at the various scales of temperature which we will be discussing right now. So the first one is the Celsius scale which was also known as the centigrade scale. So centigrade and Celsius they refers to the same scale. So this is often denoted as degree Celsius. This is how we denote it. The next one is Fahrenheit scale which is denoted by F and it was named after the scientist Fahrenheit who described it for the first time. So Celsius scale. So it was, Celsius was named after the Swedish astronomer Celsius who discovered it for the first time. So in this scale, the ice point is at 0 degree and the steam point is at 100 degree Celsius. So you see this is the ice point and this is the steam point. So in between these you have the various temperatures. So as I said, ice point and steam point, they are the two reference points for all the scales of temperature. So let us look at uh, the Fahrenheit scale. So this Celsius scale is also called centigrade scale. That is this why we measure temperature. We say we often read this 30 degree as 30 degree Celsius or 30 degree centigrade. So they both mean the same. The next one is Fahrenheit scale. Here the ice point is 32 degree Fahrenheit and the steam point is 212 degree Fahrenheit. So that means a 0 degree Celsius is equivalent to a 32 degree Fahrenheit because the, the temperature at which water starts to freeze that is the ice point. So that temperature in Celsius scale is 0 degree and the same temperature in Fahrenheit scale is 32 degrees. So that's how the Celsius and the Fahrenheit scale gets related to each other. So it was named after Fahrenheit who had proposed this scale. So it is denoted by a degree F followed by F which denotes Fahrenheit. So let us quickly look at the relationship between Celsius and Fahrenheit. So if you try to compare the two scales, you will see that 100 degree Celsius is equivalent to a 212 degree Fahrenheit and a 0 degree Celsius is equivalent to a 32 degree Fahrenheit because this denotes the steam point and this temperature denotes the ice point. So 
if you want to convert any temperature in celsius to a temperature in fahrenheit so how do you do that so there exists a relationship between celsius and fahrenheit that is tc by 5 is equal to tf minus 32 by 9 so we will not get into the derivation right now but so you can just uh, have a look at this formula so this tc is nothing but the temperature in celsius scale and Tf is nothing but the temperature in Fahrenheit scale. So let us suppose if you take an example of a temperature which is 20 degrees Celsius. So basically Tc is equal to 20 degree Celsius. So let us see how much it would be in the Fahrenheit scale. So in the picture you can see that it is 68 degree Fahrenheit. But let's try to calculate it using this formula. So the formula becomes 20 by 5 is equal to Tf minus 32 by 9. So this will be 5 fours are 20. So this is Tf is equal to 36 plus 32. So this is equal to 68 degree Fahrenheit. So therefore, we can say that a 20 degree Celsius is equivalent to a 68 degree Fahrenheit. Similarly, we can convert uh, the Fahrenheit scale values into Celsius scale also. So for example, let us see the ice point. So how much is the ice point on a Celsius scale? So on a Celsius scale, it is 0 degree Celsius. So if we put this value of 0 in this equation, so what do we get? We get 0 is equal to Tf minus 32 by 9. So this becomes equal to Tf is equal to 32 degree Fahrenheit. So basically the ice point on Fahrenheit scale should be equal to 32 degree Fahrenheit. So similarly you can do it for the steam point as well. Right? Now let us talk about our body temperatures because we have been taking examples of our body temperatures that when we are healthy for a healthy person the normal body temperature is somewhere around 98 degree approximately 98 degree and this is in Fahrenheit. So let us see how, how much is the normal body temperature in both Celsius and Fahrenheit scale. So in Celsius scale the normal body temperature normal body temperature in celsius scale is 37 degree celsius so again if you put these values in the equation tc by 5 is equal to tf minus 32 by 9 so using this you see that 66.6 .6 is equal to tf minus 32 or we can say that Tf is equal to 66.6 plus 32. So this is equal to 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. So this is the normal temperature of human body in Fahrenheit scale. So now you understand when we say that the temperature of boiling water is 100 degrees Celsius. Correct? So for boiling water, the temperature is 30 100 degree celsius and for our human body the temperature is 98 degree fahrenheit so 98 degree fahrenheit is basically 37 degree celsius which is a lot less than that of the boiling water that is why our body is not even comparable in hotness when compared to the boiling water pan thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.